Hello, dear students. This is your engineering mathematics three lecture. Today's topic is Stokes theorem. This topic is from fifth unit vector calculus. Stokes theorem connects a surface integral with a line integral. This is a beautiful relation. Use Stokes theorem. It connects surface integral with a line integral statement. The surface integral of the normal component of the curl of the vector point function f bar taken over an open surface S. Bounded by closed curve C is equal to the line integral of the tangential component of F bar taken around the curve C. See what is the statement of Stokes theorem? The surface integral of the normal component, surface integral of the normal component of the curl of vector point function F bar taken around, taken over an open surface S, bounded by a closed curve C is equal to the line integral of the tangential component of F bar taken around the curve C. The explanation in figure S here in this figure, in figure S is the open surface. This is the open surface to which N cap is, N cap is the unit vector, unit outward drawn normal vector. F bar is acting at point P enclosed by element DS. Curve C is this closed curve C is boundary of the surface. This is the boundary of the surface and this is the open surface. N cap is the unit normal vector to the surface. F bar is the force acting on point P enclosed by the element DS. Therefore, by Stokes theorem, Stokes theorem can be expressed as see what is the statement? The surface integral, double integration, surface integral of the normal component of the normal component of the curl of the vector point function. Curl of the vector point function, it means here del cross f bar. This is the curl of the vector point function. Normal component means del cross f bar into n cap dot n cap. This is the normal component of the curl of the vector point function f bar taken over an open surface S bounded by the closed curve C is equal to the line integral means single integration of the tangential component. Tangential component means f bar dot n cap, f bar dot n cap into ds. It means f bar dot dr bar is equal to f bar dot dr bar. So by, therefore, Stokes theorem can be expressed as here integration or closed curve C f bar dot dr bar is equal to double integration means surface integral del cross f bar dot n cap ds. So this surface integral is nothing but the normal component of the curl of the vector point function f bar and it is equal to the surface integral is equal to the tangential component of the closed curve it is equal to the line integral of the tangential component of f bar taken around the curve c so this is a beautiful relation of line integral with surface integral so we can write this formula like this also integration uh, integration or closed curve c f bar dot dr bar is equal to double integration over the surface as del cross f bar dot ds bar n cap del cross f bar dot n cap means uh, into ds means del cross f bar dot ds bar n cap ds means ds bar now the example on stokes theorem using stokes theorem evaluate double integration for the surface as del cross f bar dot n cap ds where f bar is the vector y i cap y i cap plus j cap plus x k cap over the surface x square plus y square is equal to 1 minus z where z is greater than zero. Therefore, by Stokes theorem, double integration over the surface as del cross f bar dot n cap ds is equal to integration f bar dot dr bar over the closed curve C. This is the uh, formula of Stokes theorem. This is Stokes theorem. Now here, f bar is the given vector y cap plus z j cap plus x k cap. In, so f bar dot dr bar, we can easily find because dr bar is dx i cap plus dy j cap plus dz k cap. We know that. So f bar dot dr bar is y into dx plus z into dy plus x into dz. 
Okay. Now, given that the uh, over the surface x square plus y square is equal to one minus z, where z is greater than zero. Put z is equal to zero. If we put z is equal to zero, then the surface will be a circle of unit radius. So here, uh, convert uh, Cartesian form into polar form. So x is equal to r cos theta, but the value of r is one because it is the circle of radius one. So r is equal to one. So the relation between Cartesian coordinates and polar coordinates for this. Particular circle is x is equal to cos theta, y is equal to sine theta, and z is zero because we assume here z is zero. So dx is equal to derivative of x is uh, x is equal to cos theta. Its derivative is dx is equal to minus sine theta d theta. Y is equal to sine theta. So dy is equal to derivative of sine theta is cos theta d theta. Z is equal to zero. So the derivative of z is dz is equal to zero. So therefore, integration i is equal to integration f bar dot dr bar is equal to f bar dot dr bar is here y dx plus z dy plus x dz. But here z is zero, so second term is zero, and z is zero. We have assumed z is zero, so dz is also zero. So last term is also zero. So only non-zero term is y dx, and the value of y is sine theta, and dx is minus sine theta d theta. So this integration will be minus integration sine square theta d theta, and the limits for complete circle of radius one is zero to Two pi, so limits are here zero to two pi minus. Now convert this uh, integration of zero to two pi. Uh, we can convert it like this: minus of four times integration of zero to pi by two sine square theta d theta. And so using reduction formula, we can solve this integration. We can write it solely minus four into one by two into pi by two, and so it is equal to that uh, one by two into pi by two. Pi by four into minus four. Four four get cancelled, so it is minus five. So the answer is minus five for this example. Now second example is by using Stokes theorem, evaluate double integration del cross f bar dot n cap ds, where s is the curved surface of the paraboloid x square plus y square is equal to two z bounded by the plane z is equal to two, where f bar is equal to the vector three into x minus y into i cap plus two x z j cap plus x y k cap. Now consider here del cross f bar because we are going to find del cross f bar. So the formula to find del cross f bar is first row i cap j cap k cap second row the operator uh, del operators coefficient means the formula for del is i cap into del by del x plus j cap into del by del y plus k cap in k cap into del by del z. And so the components, uh, the terms with i j k are del by del x, del by del y, del by del z. And the third row, the coefficients of i cap, j cap, k cap, so three into x minus y, two x z into x y. So you solve this determinant, uh, so that you will get del cross f bar, which is i cap into derivative of x y with respect to y is x minus derivative of two x z with respect to z is two x. So the term is i cap in bracket x minus two x. Minus j cap, middle term. So give negative sign. Minus j cap in bracket. Derivative of x y with respect to x is y here. Minus derivative of three into x minus y with respect to z is zero. Plus k cap into derivative of two x z with respect to x is two z. Minus derivative of three into x minus y with respect to y is minus three. Minus minus plus so plus three. So if we simplify it, it is equal to x i minus x. Into i cap minus y into j cap plus two z plus three bracket complete into k cap. This is the value of del cross f bar. Okay. Now the curved surface of paraboloid is bounded by the arc of the circle x square plus y square is equal to four because uh, bounded by the plane z is equal to two. So z is equal to surface of the paraboloid x square plus y square is equal to two z bounded by the plane z is equal to two. If we put z is equal to two, this equation will be x square plus y square is equal to four, which is also the boundary of the plane of the circle x square plus y square is equal to four. So uh, it is uh, in the x y plane. So uh, for this, the normal component will be z axis. The normal component will be in the direction of z axis, and the unit vector in the direction of z axis is n cap. Uh, the unit vector in the direction of z axis is k cap. So your normal component of this circle, which is in x y plane, is 
n cap is equal to k cap. Yeah. So del cross f bar dot n cap ds is equal to del cross f bar is here. Del cross f bar dot n cap. This dot product. Del cross f bar is a vector, and n cap is again a vector. N cap is k cap. So the k cap dot k cap. The multiplication of these two vectors, del cross f bar and dot n cap. This dot product of two vectors is equal to here the component of uh, the term with k cap in del cross f bar is two z plus three, and the term with k cap in uh, k cap uh, n cap is equal to k cap is one. So one into two z plus three is two z plus three into dx dy because ds ds means surface. Uh, surface is in x y plane because surface is the circle. So it is in x y plane because the equation of circle is x square plus y square is equal to four. So the value of ds is dx dy. So it is two z plus three into dx dy. Therefore, by Stokes theorem, write down the uh, term of Stokes theorem. The surface integral del cross f bar dot n cap ds is equal to or surface s is equal to the value of del cross f bar. Dot n cap ds is two z plus three into dx dy. Okay, now where z is two, z is uh, constant. It is two. So put z is equal to two. So that you will get seven uh, dx dy. And the surface is uh, the circle x square plus y square is equal to four. Now seven is constant. So write down seven as it is into the surface integral dx dy. Now the area for circle uh, x square plus y square is equal to four is equal to the formula of area of circle is pi r square and the radius is two of the circle. So take the square of two pi into two square seven as it is. So two square means four four seven four the twenty eight pi. And so this is uh, your answer for this example twenty eight pi. And here this example is over. So we have discussed the examples on Stokes theorem here. I discussed Stokes theorem with the with few examples, and so this topic Stokes theorem is over here. Thank you.